one of the things we need to know when we go sailing is how to deal with emergencies. And unfortunately, one of those emergencies could be a situation where you have a crew that actually falls in the water. And so this is about how do we maneuver the boat to get back to that crew in what we call a figure eight crew overboard. Uh, the wind is coming straight down. Uh, I'm sailing on a close reach. My crew uh, falls overboard. On any of the different crew overboard maneuvers, the very first thing you do is you yell crew overboard. And it isn't a soft-spoken crew overboard. It's a very loud crew overboard, so everybody on the boat knows it, as well as any surrounding boats. The next thing you do is you throw any floating uh, devices you have, particularly seat cushions that are the type four floating devices, to litter the water with additional flotations, both as an aid to that crew that's in the water, but also as an aid to all of you on the boat to be able to see them because sometimes their head is pretty hard to spot when it's floating in the water and having more litter in the water helps you be able to see them. Uh, then the third thing you do is you appoint a spotter. You assign somebody to uh, spot for them and you make it very clear that you expect them to spot. Sally, spot. Ralph, spot. And their job would be then to keep a hand pointed at that crew that's overboard all the time, not taking their eyes off the crew and communicating where they are in relationship to the boat. If they need to do something else to support the crew, they should do that without looking at the, that function and being concentrated on keeping their eyes on the crew that's overboard. So crew overboard, litter the, litter the water with floating devices and a point of spotter. Now, as the skipper, the next thing you're going to do, because you continue to sail in this process, is turn the boat to a beam reach. And in this case, that means, again, falling off to a beam reach. And you're going to sail on a beam reach four to five boat lengths. And at that point, we're going to tack the boat. And we're going to tack the boat very sharply and very tight. And we want to tack the boat from its beam reach all the way around to a deep, broad reach. So we want the boat to end up. in a deep, broad reach, which means we've had to tack it very tightly and very quickly to get ourselves in a deep, broad reach. And then we're going to sail down on a deep, broad reach uh, to a point where we're starting to go from being of upwind to downwind of the crew. And then we're going to turn the boat and approach the uh, crew overboard on a close reach with our sails luffing. And the, the kind of the critical part of this is having enough room distance to be able to slow the boat once we turn up in our close reach. So as we come down in our broad reach, when we turn the boat to come up, we need to immediately release our sails to depower the boat so that we can come up slowly. If we have to sheet in 
to pick up speed along the way, that's fine, but if we've already got ourselves going too fast, halfway through the process, it's going to be very difficult to slow enough to come to a stop in order to pick up our crew. So, crew of aboard, litter the water, appoint a spotter, fall off to a deep or to a beam reach. We're going to sail four to five boat lengths, tack as quickly and as tight as we can into a deep broad reach. We're going to come down to where the, the bow and pretty close to the mast is just about gone from upwind to downwind and then sharply turn up and pick up the crew. Uh, I suggest picking the crew up with the crew on the leeward side uh, because the boat's going to drift faster than the crew over the crew in the water and I would rather the boat drift to them than the boat drift away from them. And it gives you some protection when you arrive at the crew that's overboard because they're on the leeward side protected by the boat from the wind. Your challenge will be visibility because as you come up the main and the other sails will be in your way so you'll have to maneuver yourself in the boat to be able to get the visibility you need. 